Well, well, well. Good morning, guys. Never mind. It's not morning. It's like one o'clock. But right now, I'm about to go hit. I'm not gonna lie, man. I was debating if I wanted to record today because I feel like I've been recording a lot. Like sometimes my videos don't have like a pure intention, if that makes sense. And I feel like I just kind of vibe and I kind of rock with it, you know. However, my day is, you know, supposed to go. I'm excited to go hit. My swing has felt very well these past few weeks. My body's been moving well. Muscles feel really good. Everything just kind of is working, which is really good. So I kind of want to stay on that kind of high and just continue to thrive where I'm at. Not really changing anything, going in, staying fluid, and working on simple things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, today we're going to lift with my boy Walker. I've actually never lifted with him. I feel like you got to work around people that are better than you in like certain areas sometimes to try to learn things. But I think you can be influenced by people that are doing better in areas that you want to be. I've always known him in high school, but I never actually like talked to him a whole bunch. And recently we've been talking a whole lot about content and God and like the direction of like the areas we want to go and things we want to work on, stuff like that. But that's going to be at a public gym. So it's going to be my first time in public gym. If I go in there and I start failing a bunch of lifts, I'm never going back. When we lift with him, that'll be super sick. I'm actually really excited. I've been thinking about it a lot. I don't really go to the public gym. I don't really have those encounters that people post about on TikTok where it's like a bunch of old people in the gym or like you get those young high school gym rats. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't ever get those interactions because I'm always by myself somewhere. We got to get some hitting done first. I just don't want to have to spend my entire day uh, doing baseball. I'm going to get in, get my work done. I'm going to get out of there. I'm done yapping, basically just talking your head off, but I'm going to see you at the facility and uh, we're going to get some work in today. Let's have a day. So I didn't plan to really come in here and do a, like a lot of tea. I hoped people would be in here so they could throw me some overhand. But I feel like I want to give you guys like a hitting routine. Show you guys kind of what I work on. So I don't know if you guys noticed. I never set the tee up inside. I feel like hitting an inside pitch is an automatic. Everybody knows how to do it. Pull your hands through, finish high, hit a home run. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like the middle to outside pitch or the ball middle middle sometimes can be the tough pitch because either we're trying to be like inside out on it or we're not really getting extended to meet that ball at the center and at our peak extension of our swing. So even on all these, I have the tee set up right here in the middle. And literally the whole intention is to go straight middle or to the top right corner. But you'll never see me set the tee up inside, honestly, because I feel like everybody can hit the inside. And a lot of people have problem hitting the inside pitch because their body rolls this way. You know what I'm saying? So instead of kind of pushing your hands all the way through, you end up rolling over, which results in ground balls to third. So I try to go always middle away, middle away, middle away. Any chance I'm by myself because that's your peak extension. That's going to be the furthest your hands are going to get out trying to hit a ball the other way. So that's what I focus on in my hitting routine. You guys might have also saw that I also took some swings where I was literally standing straight up. That's mainly to make sure my legs are engaged and I'm getting into a good launch position. So if I'm standing straight up, it forces me to have to get down, set the camera down and show you guys. But if I'm standing straight up, and I got a bat on my shoulder. In order to hit that ball that's down in middle, middle, I have to get here to be able to push that ball out. But if I'm standing straight up and I try to come straight at this ball, I'm either going to flare it straight up in the air, I'm going to roll it over down to the left. But it's hard to get your body on plane for it. So if my normal stance is right here, that's my load, boom, and I'm right there. I like to come straight up because I can go from here and it makes sure that I'm getting to the same launch position before I let my hands go. So I'll take some from right here. And then I let this sit, and then I let my body go. Um, so for these last couple before I get ready to go, it's gonna be middle way still. I'm gonna go standing up, and I'm gonna get down in there, and that's gonna be my swing. And I'll probably do like 10 more of these, and then I'll get ready to roll. But um, nobody really taught me these things. These are just things that I've learned as I've gone. Um, and this is kind of what works best for me. I don't mention it as often as I used to, but I use VLT batting gloves. You guys ask me, they're literally gardening gloves. You can see the little patch right there. That's your grip. So when these things are broken in, these are like a brand new pair. But when they're broken in, they feel amazing. You don't get blisters on your palm, which is why I literally use them all the time. I use them throughout the fall this year. I'm gonna show you guys some middle of the way. I'm um, standing straight up and then into my normal swing, and we're gonna get ready to go lift. But I guess this is more of a hitting routine video. Just to show you guys what exactly I work on and what the main factors are trying to clean up my swing and stuff, so.
hitting a ball the other way and driving it, like, I want to be there so I can let my legs stop. There it is. But... 
try to keep like your elbows below your wrists. So it's like chest activation like this, like almost only chest. Try to keep your arms like kind of locked, just like your hands. Like squeeze your chest together. Oh my god. Yeah, that's good. Try to make a touch if you can. I'm freaking tired. Alright y'all, so I'm back at my house. I just made some eggs and sausage. Uh, you guys always ask like what I eat. I had a really good time with Walker. And I just want to say this, like don't allow what people post on social media to dictate how you see them. I'm not gonna lie, like my heart feels full. You don't meet a lot of genuine people. Sometimes you meet people and then you find things out later on and they're not really how they seem. Don't judge a book by its cover. You don't know what somebody's going through. You never know what they're really dealing with. You never know why they're posting. You never really know unless you actually interact or talk to people. So always lead with love. I always say that and always have an open heart. Man. But overall, man, a really good day. I trained hard. I hope you guys were able to take something out of it. And this food looks, I know it smacks, bro. I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Let me eat, bro. Let me eat in peace. Come on, my soul. Oh, don't you get shy on me. Lift up your song. Cause you got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. Y'all gotta get right, bro. Let me see y'all waves. You got some waves? Let me see y'all jump. Sheesh. Let me see y'all jump. <laughs> Sheesh. Look at me, That's bro. That's what they saying. She just fried me. Yes, sir. I got my twin. Yes, sir. Ski. You know what I'm saying? Three, two. You look right through here. Three, two, two. Three. What's up with you, my boy? How we living? You living? Just good? That's it? My sister, bro. Taking these weed flicks. Look, she don't even know what she doing. There go reindeer. There go Rudolph. Those are not reindeer. Top five places to not come at night. At number one, we got downtown Wilmington, North Carolina. Just don't come out here. If you would like to return home safely, take my advice. Live a better life and don't pull up. Because this ain't it, twin. Oh, this is. I told you. Late night, per usual. Right now it's 12 a.m. Here's the rundown. First, I need to clean my bed off. I want to go ahead and import the clips from today's video. I know you guys were like kind of wondering if I was getting burnt out or anything, but this doesn't feel like a job. It doesn't feel like work. I never mind, you know what I'm saying? I never mind. Like, I'm about to get after it right now, actually. But appreciate you guys and anybody who's reached out and checked on me. Or, honestly, I had a great day. Training and really getting in the flow of things and just kind of finding this groove. My training and my editing and honestly, my headspace. I've been pretty motivated. I don't really like to use that word because I feel like motivation can run out and if you're just basing your entire life on when you're motivated to do things you're gonna miss opportunities because a lot of people and people say it some people say it some don't but it's discipline over motivation you do that thing because you have to or because it's on your schedule or because it needs to be done not because you always want to or feel like it or you know what I'm saying it doesn't it doesn't work like that all the time so appreciate you guys to thank God for life and another day to really do what he's called me to do and Give me the strength to just continue to continue. And I appreciate you guys. And if you've ever reached out or checked on me, I appreciate all the love. Hope you guys enjoy your night. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video, man.